Oh crap, it is real and still being used. I gotta... Day seven. Oh man, what a day it has been. It started off with Skeptic Guy getting a little too deep into murky water research and taking two shots to his person. I guess his Skeptic dies now. <laughs> uh, this video will mainly be talking about the heist itself and not the deep lore as of yet due to just how much stuff there is, but stick around there will be a few tidbits. The main attraction was a new heist and an updated in-game storyline. It might not sound like much, but holy shit, there is a lot to talk about. Now, if you've been following my videos, you should be up to date. However, if you don't want to be spoiled as to the events that happen in this heist, stop the video now and go play Henry's Rock. Henry's Rock is a murky water research facility out in the desert. Sounds familiar. We sneak into the base the only way we know how, through crates, just like how we went in and killed the commas up. I really like this, despite what people say. Then we fight our way into the heart of the facility and get given two random objectives out of a possible four. In each objective, we are retrieving an item, and yes, you guessed it, it's the dentist loot again, and another box this time, but with a new symbol which we totally knew was coming. It is the reflected diamond from the Mudutu icon. On the floor, you can see the seal of the Hyde Triangle with loads of text. It is a ton of stuff, which I won't go through in this video, but just know this, it refers to three kings, the King Doctor, the King Elephant, and the King Scribe. Obviously, the Elephant and the Doctor are Simmons and the Dentist respectively, since both of them had boxes as well. It's just up in the air who the third one is and what their current state is. So there is a lot of symbolism to read into, but when you continue through the mission after you have obtained both boxes, as you head to the exit, a mysterious shutter starts rolling up and a murky water operator appears, much more distinct than the other NPCs. Then behind him, a monitor appears with a tied up figure and a silhouetted man with glasses next to him. After looking at this from the other side of the bulletproof glass, the monitor turns off and the murky leaves, leaving you with the question, who are these people? But most of you can probably take a guess. The tied up man is most likely Bane. The guy next to him is the dentist and the murky water operator, well, if you clip through his model using certain means, you can see that there's a dog tag on him that has the name Kento. Did we just find Kento? It seems to be the case because if you trigger this event whilst playing as Jiro, he will say something in Japanese which roughly translates to stupid son. They also made a few changes to the safe house voice lines. Duke and Chain's got a couple of new voice lines, but the most interesting one is that Jiro can no longer be interacted with to chat with, which pretty much confirms that the man in the red murky suit is actually Kento. As I said at the start of this video, the in-game storyline got an update, and it does give a bit of insight into the lore, such as the fact that murky water is being used as a front for Kataru. I had to grind through around 20 highest in order to reach the end of this new storyline as there is now 51 parts to it and that is excluding all the event specific stuff. So if this video interested you, I hope you stick around since I will be making a much more detailed breakdown of everything that happened in this heist, as well as with the flute imagery, the Hyo triangle, the text connections, wordsmith profiles, safe house voice lines, heist descriptions, and more. Will it be in the same style as my Bane Theory? I'm not too sure. Lots of people seem to dislike the Game Theory reference or think I'm just straight up stealing from them, so I might change the format some. I actually had to redo this audio and this video is actually late because my first attempt at this, I sounded dead. I'd been up for 24 hours and didn't have any sleep. I was just... So this is the, the new and improved version where I sound a lot more energetic. But you know, if you like what I'm doing here, Make sure you hit subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more theory stuff in the future, trying to discover the deep-rooted lore of Payday 2 and find out what else Joe has to offer. 
That isn't to say that I don't want to do other videos. I want to fill in the downtime with more other sort of videos. I've got something in the works at the moment, but you know, I might even decide to do one of our fucking build video, but you know, we'll see what happens. So, till next time.